Uh, I want to change tack now. Only an out-of-touch Teal MP talking about politicians could come up with this idea, that a 100-year-old golf club that is for public players, so anyone can play there, open to all, not a members-only club, has just nine holes. Someone is suggesting that it should be seized by the government and handed to the local school. Now, that club is Balgala. I played there myself. It's a beautiful little spot. And the, the Teal MP, Zali Stegel, wants it to go the same way as Moore Park in Sydney in the way of clubs in other capital cities. How does it make any sense to turn a money-making recreation operation, that's what a golf club is, into a drain on the public purse? Of course, it doesn't. Former pro golfer Mark Allen's not held back and joins us now. Uh, look, I fear, Mark, this might end up becoming a trend around the country with Labor administrations in various capital cities. Grab hold of golf clubs and turn them into, into parklands. It already is, Steve, and it's just no good. Now, what I see is golf absolutely thriving at the moment. James Willis from 2GB gave me a call and told me that this was all happening. And when, my, when I came back on my little trip, I was looking at all the parks everywhere. Nobody was in a park on a beautiful, beautiful Melbourne day. I went past Brighton Golf Club and there are people everywhere enjoying themselves. And I think this is what they all think and see, that you know, the only parks that are worth going to uh, are one where people carry around a golf club. But they forget that people pay green fees to keep these beautiful gorses the way they are. And the one story I want to tell you about is this little Northcote Golf Club. Now, it's a the only little green golf course in that particular area where the public can play every single day. The council uh, during COVID... All the locals went there to do their walks because, remember, we couldn't play golf. You, you could actually go and play soccer there. You could do whatever you like there. But you, as long as you weren't carrying a golf club around on a golf course, that's a whole other story. <laughs> that's a whole other story. That, but there's some of the madness that was happening down here. They got their way and they took away the fifth hole. Some say it was the best hole on the golf course. Now, I think you've just seen some pictures. That hole is that, – that area now is unkept. It's overgrown. Uh, it's unloved. Nobody uses it. And the poor golfers got stuck with this rubbish little disgraceful hole that doesn't do anything. Um, and they look out on the other side of the fence and they say, see where their old hole used to be and nobody's using it. It's just pathetic. Yeah, this is crazy. I mean, I, I must say the New South Wales Premier Chris Minns said yesterday if it comes across his desk, he won't let Val Gowler be grabbed. This club... Uh, it survived being bulldozed, by the way, Mark, for a road tunnel. Now, someone, and you have to laugh, Zali Stegel, who was talking yeah. about privileged golfers, she, I mean, she was a great athlete, uh, represented the country at the Winter Olympics, but she came from the privileged world of snow skiing. How's that? Oh, no, it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And these little golf courses that everybody wants to take, you know, they, they look after the very start of golfing lives, so kids, and the very end of golfing life. So seniors. Uh, and, and during the day, you know, after work, you go there, it's it's all high vis. You know, it's people with borrowed clubs going down and having a walk and a talk, maybe a drink with their mates on a little nine holer. And and by the way, I'm just having a look at Val Gala and I'm having a look at some of these other areas. You know, the, the Sydney Town Planner, he wasn't bad. There are parks everywhere. I can see North Harbour Reserve. I can see Taunt, Dirty Hole Beach with a big parkland there. There's some parks on Heartland Road near Manly Golf Club. I go down a little bit. Cuban Street, there's a massive park. Clontarf Reserve. There are parks everywhere. Now, I say to people like Zali Sigal, fill those parks with people first. Make sure that they are packed before you come hunting for the beautiful areas that we play golf in and pay to upkeep. And Bal Gowler actually looks after that school across the road and lets the kids use the golf course anyway. Well, there you go. So they're doing the right thing. They're trying to get kids started on a journey, being active, out being social, all the things that we wish our kids would love to do, and they're trying to take that away. It is mind-bendingly stupid. I just can't believe there are politicians who think this way. Mark Allen, always good to catch up with you, my friend. Thank you very much.